Our top story at 530, a woman locked inside of a cage of a shed. The four people accused in that terrifying case are now behind bars. That victim was able to escape and go get help over the weekend. Fox 35, Stephanie Buffamonte tells us more about what that victim went through. He held no bond on the armed kidnap with Monica Reed didn't show up to court Monday. She waived her right to a first appearance. She's being charged with armed kidnapping and aggravated battery with a firearm for pistol whipping a woman. She's accused of abducting. According to the arrest affidavit, she and three other men worked together to kidnap and lock the woman in a dog cage. The dog cage was in a shed behind a home in Pine Hills. Police say the four suspects beat and terrorized the woman because they were trying to get information about a stolen item. The other three suspects, Damon Trump, Kevin Holmes, and Cortez Jackson, also charged with armed kidnapping. All four were given no bond. Deputies say the woman's hands and feet were duct taped together. Her mouth duct taped shut too. She somehow managed to escape Saturday and started knocking on doors and windows of homes nearby. Just a few houses away, Tony Stanislaus says the woman jumped over his fence and knocked on his back window. I spoke with him yesterday. That's yes. a pretty big fence. Yep, you're trying to run for your life. You're trying to save your life. You will do whatever you need to do. The escape sparked a six-hour standoff outside of the home on Barnett Place and Emeralda Road Saturday. Deputies saved the woman and eventually took all four suspects into custody. We saw one man with his hands in zip ties. It's, it's a bit heartbreaking, you know, and it, to know that it's so close, you never know what's going on, you know, but, you know, I, I thank God that she was saved. Reporting in Pine Hills, Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News. So we dug into the suspect's criminal history. Cortez Jackson and Monica Reed are both convicted felons. Jackson also had previous charges from 2018 for attempted first-degree murder and domestic battery. But the state attorney dropped those charges.